Welcome to another video in the Fast Office Computer Training Series of MS Office Best Practices. This series will help you work with MS Office to perform your tasks more efficiently. In this video, you will learn how to use the Mail Merge feature in MS Word 2010 to send a promotion to a few clients. You will learn how to start the merge, select recipient list that resides in an Excel workbook, check the results, and finally send the merge letter to the printer. This is the promotion that will be sent to a few clients. The ad is complete, but it needs some merge fields and a recipient list. First, start the mail merge by clicking the Mailings tab, and in the Start Mail Merge group, right here, click Start Mail Merge, and select Letters. Next, click Select Recipients, and then click Use Existing List. Select the list. I'll use this one. Click Open. And then select Sheet 1 because I know that's where the list is. If you are using this method, you will need to be familiar with the list before you start. Click OK to return to the document. Now, let's edit the list so that only those I want will receive the promotion. Since this is only going out to a select few, deselect all, then choose those to whom it will go. So deselect all buttons right there, and I'm going to choose just a few. There we go. Just I click OK here. Now the document is ready for some merge fields. Merge fields are small bits of computer code that tell Word where to insert recipient information such as address, first name, last name, etc. Address block is needed right here. So click address block. Uh oh, we have a problem with the address block. Only shows the street address, the city, but the state and province and the zip code or postal code are not shown. So let's go and match fields. State says not matched right here, so first we need to select state province. That's why it's not matched because it's a different label. Postal code is not matched, so we need to s select zip PC. So PC means postal code. And then we'll click OK. Now we see the whole address. Also note that um, we select only include the country region if different than United States. So as you can see, USA is not here because it's, diff it's not different than United States. It's in Bellingham, Washington. If I lived in Canada, for example, and I selected Canada, then USA would be shown here. Let's pretend I live in Canada and we'll click OK. A salutation line is needed here. I can just remove the word dear. Put another hard return there. And click. Actually it's called a greeting line, not a salutation line. And I'm going to choose dear Joshua Reynolds Jr. Comma. I don't need to change anything here. Click OK. And the favorite activity should be put right here. So I click on Merge Field. Primary Interest. Actually, I'm going to put the primary interest right here as well. And there we go. Once we have all the merge fields inserted into the letter or promotion, we can view them by clicking the Highlight Merge Fields right here in the Write and Insert Fields group. Let's preview the results. Hey, pretty good. And all works. We can view each recipient one by one. So we click on each recipient. We're at the last one. So 
Now I'll click Finish and Merge, and then click Edit Individual Documents. I can also print the documents or email them. Congratulations, we're done. Next step is simply to print the merge. I'm just going to click OK. Notice that I started to the left. Oops, when I did the merge, I'm just going to move this up a little bit back into the screen. When I started the merge, I started from the left of the mailings tab and moved my way across to right here, finish the merge on the right hand side. This is a nice layout and it's a lot easier than using the Mail Merge wizard. You just learned how to create a merge using a list of recipients that existed in an Excel workbook. Things to remember. You cannot insert the merge fields unless you have a recipient list. Check out our other videos to learn how to create a merge from an Access database or even how to create a merge by typing a new list of recipients. Thank you for watching the Fast Office Computer Training series of MS Office Best Practices.